Which number is larger, log base 3 of 2 plus log base 2 of 3, or 13 divided by 6? You have 5 minutes to find the maximum value. One workable idea is to approximate the values of the logarithms. How can you do that without a calculator? Think back to the definition of a logarithm. Log base 2 of 3 is equal to the real number x, for which we have 2 to the power of x equals 3. Knowing that 2 to the power of 1 equals 2 and 2 to the power of 2 equals 4, we find that this x, and hence log base 2 of 3, is between 1 and 2. Similarly, as 3 to the power of 0 is 1 and 3 to the power of 1 is 3, log base 3 of 2 is between 0 and 1. We can sum the two inequalities, getting that log base 2 of 3 plus log base 3 of 2 is between 1 and 3. Now we come back to the right hand side of the initial comparison. Compute 13 divided by 6 which is equal to 2.16 repeating. This value is between 1 and 3, so the first bounds for the sum are not good enough. We need to find tighter approximations for our logarithms. We saw before that when we can compare powers of 2 and 3, we find upper and lower bounds for log base 2 of 3 and log base 3 of 2. Let's write down some of the powers of 2 and 3. For 2, it's easy to compute them up to 11. For base 3, we can momentarily stop to 3 to the power of 8. Now, going down the list of powers, we have to find pairs that are close in value. We already tried 2 to the power of 1 and 3 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2 and 3 to the power of 1, but they did not produce estimations that are accurate enough. The first pair that is close in value is 256 and 243. So, 2 to the power of 8 is greater than 3 to the power of 5. By getting the fifth root of the inequality, we obtain that log base 2 of 3 is less than 8 divided by 5. Also, by extracting the eighth root of the same relation, we conclude that log base 3 of 2 is more than 5 divided by 8. We have half of the necessary limits of the given inequality. To obtain the opposite approximations for the two logarithms, we need to find close powers of 2 and 3, with the one with base 3 being the bigger one. The next pair we can use is 2 to the power of 1 and 3 to the power of 7. Just as before, by getting the 7th and 11th roots of the inequality, we conclude that log base 2 of 3 is larger than 11 divided by 7 and log base 3 of 2 is smaller than 7 divided by 11. Armed with these approximations, are they enough to compare the sum of logarithms with 13 divided by 6? By summing, we get that log base 2 of 3 plus log base 3 of 2 is greater than 123 divided by 56 and less than 123 divided by 55. It only remains to compare both of these numbers with 13 divided by 6. We hope that this value is not in the interval between the two approximations. Since the two ratios have the same numerator, let's bring all three to a common one, namely 1599. So, 13 divided by 6 is 1599 divided by 738. The upper bound is 1599 divided by 715, and the lower one is 1599 divided by 728. It's easy to see that 1599 divided by 738 is less than the sum of logarithms, and hence, the maximum between log base 2 of 3 plus log base 3 of 2 and 13 divided by 6 is the former. Okay, so we have our answer, but what if this manner of getting upper and lower bounds does not cross your mind? Is there another way to solve this, maybe without the need to compute high-level powers of 2 and 3 and do fraction operations? We can try and manipulate the two values we need to compare. First, let's rewrite everything in standard logarithm notation using the natural logarithm and the change of base formula. We easily see that if we denote log base 2 of 3 by a, 
log base 3 of 2 is a to the power of minus 1. We can now rewrite our comparison as a plus a to the power of minus 1 compared to 13 divided by 6. Multiplying by a preserves the direction of the inequality since we know that it is positive. Bring everything to one side and we are just left to compare a second degree function in a with 0. Easy enough! Using the properties of the quadratic function, we find the roots of the function to be 2 divided by 3 and 3 divided by 2. We also lay out the intervals bounded by them and the sign that the function f takes on them. We now have to find where on this axis is the value a equals 2 log base 2 of 3. Log base 2 of 3 is more than 1 and hence is also bigger than 2 divided by 3. We can see that if log base 2 of 3 would be less than 3 divided by 2, then 3 would be less than 2 to the power of 1.5, which is equivalent to 9 less than 8, clearly a false statement. So log base 2 of 3 is strictly greater than 3 divided by 2. In conclusion, for a equals log base 2 of 3, f of a is strictly greater than 0, and given the series of equivalent relations from the beginning, this implies that log base 2 of 3 plus log base 3 of 2 is greater than 13 divided by 6. Thank you to the Patreons that supported this video, and thank you for watching! If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the alarm bell to get notifications when new videos are released. Leave any comments about this problem in the box beneath the video or on the dedicated web page. For more info and other materials, please check the description box. See you next time!